The topic of climate change is much more than just a topic. It's a crisis. India's capital city has declared a health emergency because of intense air pollution. Britain's countryside is drowning in plastic. Environmental pollution contributed to the deaths of about 9 million people in 2015. The air in New Delhi is so toxic, people are being warned to stay indoors. Big industry is at the forefront of blame. The poster boys for the cause of climate change are the oil companies and plastic producers who operate globally. Whilst they are not helping matters, it's important to ask ourselves, are we helping either? We can't just blame large businesses and then do away with any responsibilities ourselves. And whilst these businesses are responsible, so are we. As I was looking for a professional insight, I spoke to Environmental Protection from Stafford Borough Council to try and find out more about the impact we are having on our local environment and the ways we need to adapt. A good amount of the harm environmentally and in terms of climate change in terms of preloading the atmosphere with carbon was done historically and the Midlands, uh, Cannock, Stafford, Stoke-on-Trent all contributed very significantly. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Stoke-on-Trent with the pottery industry, yeah, the coal yeah. mines, the steel industry. Uh, it, it's hard to paint an image of an individual having much of an impact internationally and globally. 7.7 billion. That's the number of plastic water bottles that the United Kingdom gets through each year. Part of a wider 13.3 billion plastic bottles of other kinds. So how is the world trying to help? It's important to consider how the private sector may be helping to advance eco-friendly living, and if they are able to move us forward more than our own governments. It actually, the private industry is going to be the saviour here. I don't feel that there's a significant lead from national governments. I think ours is one of the better ones, yeah. but national governments as a whole to oh. actually uh, face reality. Mm. Uh, what here is an opportunity for businessmen and the business people to actually develop the Tesla type products, the battery storage, the energy production, the energy storage and handling and lower energy consumption equipment. Yeah. This is where they make the profits. This is the future now. Cars are a major impact to Earth. One of the most convenient forms of transport which is readily available, albeit at a price. In the UK we drive over 12 million diesel cars. Electric cars don't even reach 3% of that. So do people really feel like making that move? I conducted some primary research into our opinions on climate change and looked into whether people are ready to switch to greener transport. But when asked, many people said that they didn't feel that the infrastructure was there to support the use of electric cars as part of an everyday life. This inconvenience seems to be a major reason for our inability to shift in the direction of more eco-friendly vehicles. 
the government should start to take a lead on the nature of car ownership. Okay. So that they become more accepted to the younger generation mm. and then can then lead the way effectively um, because suddenly it'll be desirable to have the latest electrical car. It's cheaper perhaps to pass the test in an electric car. Right. They're yeah. going to be cheaper to run and cheaper to maintain anyway. I, I see infrastructure going in in terms of electrical cabling but very little in terms of incentivization for people. The public may feel that the waiting time for an electric vehicle to charge is not ideal. It seems to be a step backwards that many people don't want to take. Is that even all the options we have or are there other ways to drive renewably? There are concepts in uh, for electric vehicles now to have a standard battery. Yeah. So a bit like you'd swap a battery in your mobile phone, you pull up at the petrol, uh, pull up at a station, and you pick up a fully charged battery. Right. Yeah. And that takes minutes, and you leave the old battery behind mm. to be charged up. So are we truly aware of what's happening around us? Are climate protection efforts prioritised enough? Or do we need to wake up and realise that things need to change? It seems that rather than blaming any one group, whether that's people, industry, government, or any others, it's rather a matter of working together, having infrastructure provided and ensuring that we move towards using it. This, hopefully, will help to save the planet and it will help to save us. Do you strongly feel that society can turn things around and climate change really can um, be reduced and and the issue can be diminished? Or do you think it's almost a lost cause? This is more my personal view than anything else, I suppose. It's only a matter of time before the consumers of the world realize that that actually we're not isolated we can't just stand you know and eat and drink and consume uh forever mm. that there is a cost to it and it isn't until that cost comes knocking at the door yeah um that, that people wake up yeah. um, so my view is that yes we're going to be all right in the long run but the next hundred years or so are going to be uh difficult times 